Mr. President, you're... I'm fine. You know, it's a very interesting question. It's cool that you asked that because I think about... Um, you know, I think that was one of the things that was really compelling in Yorick is that he's... There's a real reluctance that he has to uh, to being shouldered with this burden that, 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 that he's shouldered with in the series. And he is, you know, there's a line in the graphic novel at one point where he says, um, with little power comes little responsibility. And I think for Yorick, you know, when you think about a Star Wars or you think about a Lord of the Rings or these, these beautifully crafted kind of very traditional hero's journeys where there are these characters who kind of dream of something bigger. They dream of a world beyond you know, their walls. Um, like, Yorick's not really there. Like, he doesn't, you know, he says to his mother in that scene, I'm not as ambitious as you are. And for me, I think it was very compelling looking at a character who is foisted into this situation and is shouldered to play this role that he didn't ask for, he didn't volunteer for, and he's now has to grow up uh, uh, faster than he wanted to. He has to start thinking about um, the world in a greater sense, in a sense bigger than just himself and his own little bubble. Um, and so that was, uh, that was very, a very fun dynamic to play with. Madam President, power plants will start to shut down. Which, which city? All of them. She's so good. Ashley's so good in the show. And uh, she's just such an awesome person. So I'll start with that part of the question because it was just like, you know, we the first couple episodes, York and 355 meet at the end of episode two. And so we didn't, you know, the for the first episode, we didn't have any scenes together. And, um, and as soon as we had our first scene together and we kind of just like locked in and kind of got along and knew that we were gonna have fun doing this it was such a it was such a great experience man um and yeah like you said i think it's that traditional kind of um you know whether it's gender roles or whether it's i think about uh, terminator 2 and like like she's arnold and i'm little john connor um and so it's um i think it's it's a real exciting exploration of traditional gender roles in that sense and I think it begs a lot of questions and I think it uh, reframes things in a really exciting way and in a really original and thoughtful way. Um, and I'm very excited. I'm excited for an audience to, to, to see it. Somewhere is the answer to how this all happened and how we fix it. Who are you? Yorick. You're reproductively interesting. Wow. Okay. Uh... We shot, no, we shot in 2020. We started shooting. Uh, we got postponed because of COVID, and then we kind of filmed through uh, during the pandemic. Um, and uh, it's a really, you know, really good question. It's um, it's interesting. You know, it was never lost on any of us how lucky we were to be working. First of all, just to be working during the pandemic. Um, so that was a real blessing for all of us, and we brought that to work with us. Uh, that sense of gratitude, you know. And I, I just have to give a shout out to the crew. Uh, who worked through through COVID to make this show happen and just did a tireless and, and amazing job um, realizing this show. And it was interesting. There were times when it felt like a little too close to home. And then there were times where it felt really cathartic to be able to, you know, be dealing with something so uh, uh, unprecedented, like we were dealing with in real life in telling this story. Um, and so hopefully it's something that people can find some solace in, uh, in watching the show and seeing, seeing certain parallels they can relate to, but in a different framework, in a framework that doesn't, you know, tire them out or depress them, but one that can be kind of exciting and one that can be, um, that can stimulate the imagination a little bit.